Hi. In today's episode, we want to continue the previous episode about creating a simple book with two chapters. We have seen uh, how to add chapter numbers, how to create different styles for the first page of the chapter, for the next ones. And today we want to insert a cover and to talk about footnotes. So let's begin. In order to insert a cover, we press here Control Enter and we have a page break and a new page. Let's see all the styles, all the styles for the page. We want to create uh, the cover page. Why we want my cover? Because we want to have all personalized style with beginning with my. So let's change everything here. Let's choose a, a gray a background in order to see that is a cover page. We don't want header, don't want footer. Everything is done. So let's apply. Double click and we have here this cover page. Let's insert now the title for this book. So my book title. Let's create a new paragraph style. So let's go from default paragraph and let's create one, a new one. My uh, book title. Let's uh, add four centimeters above, four below. Let's have a line spacing of 115. Center. Let's bold it. Let's change the font size. We want another color. Let's choose dark gray. Let's apply and let's see. Here we go here. We want custom style and double click here. Let's write something more to be two rows. So I have this is my book title. So it's looking very good here. If we press enter, there will be two paragraphs so we have four centimeter distance it's not okay so let's have one paragraph with two rows so this is a cover in this case we can add more info here like ear and so on now let's talk about another thing we use usually in the books so the books to begin only the chapters to begin only on right so let's change the first page style and we want only right let's apply so every time we begin a new chapter this will begin on the right page you can see here on the left we will have a blank page and on the right we will have a a new chapter or on the left we could have uh, the last rows from that chapter let's go to see more now let's talk about footnote let's insert a footnote let's see how to personalize them so I insert one here so this is a footnote about the term late okay so what we have in this case we have three styles that we can change for anchor for number and for the paragraph we are uh, writing now let's talk about each one so we have here first that number let's insert a new one a long paragraph a long footnote sorry and we don't like anything about them we don't like the default so let's see how we can change them let's increase here we can have we have this number one and two and we want to change them let's see something interesting here tools footnotes and endnotes we can change from number to letters like that let's come back to numbers we can 
count them, we can change the number, we can start per document or per chapter or per page, the position end of doc page or document, and here we have that three styles we talked earlier, so anchor is for that number, so let's change it. So, let's see, let's move up a little bit this text, so let's go to tools, footnotes and endnotes, and here we have footnote anchor. So it's a text area, let's go and change it from um, character style, we have here footnote anchor we can change the font, for example, we can use here bold, let's uh, change the color to dark gray, the position, it's superscript at this moment, let's apply and see, so we change that, we have a gray instead of black, let's change more here, Uh, we can change uh, the position, let's change to 1%. So in this case, uh, the footnote anchor is at the base of the line. So by default it's 33%, so we look like that. You, of course you can move up or down as you like from this setting, and now let's go to this number, we want to change it also, so let's see where we find it, it's here, um, the paragraph is the text and footnote area is this number, so his name is footnote, footnote characters, is this one, let's modify, so we can change also, we can bold it, we can change the size, the color, the position, we can choose a superscript and we don't want border, let's apply. So we have a very small number, let's uh, increase the size, we can have something like that or we can uncheck superscript and have normal and decrease the font size. Okay, so now looks much better and is the same color as the anchor for this um, footnote. Now let's change with footnote paragraph. Here we have uh, the distance here, the indent for text, let's play with it. Okay, so we can play with it until we like what we have. So let's see the results. It's not okay, let's change. Now looks better. Okay, let's talk about this paragraph style. So let's align them as justify. You can see now they are a, a left align. So we want the last line to be on the left align. We want uh, the font to be regular. Let's decrease the font. And we want the color to be a dark gray. Let's apply. So you can see we have a different color and the footnote is um, dark gray and a smaller font. Let's increase. And now what we can do, we can change some settings. Um, for example, we want more space between paragraph. So let's change that. We want some small uh, distance be between paragraph. Okay, we can increase the line spacing of each line. Let's decrease. Uh, also, we can change, we can have a border, a very light one. Let's see, you can see here we have a small um, light gray line, but we don't like that, let's remove it. So we have the footnote how we like it. 
let's see what we can do more here if we click here we can go to the footnote and uh, let's see we have uh, the same color when we are reading we are not distracting because we have the gray text for footnote and black for the main text let's see another thing if we have a longer footnote that is not um, having space on a single page so let's increase more so we have a very very long footnote here the second one so the text is continued on the next page here is the same note two. we have an option here to change here how we want to notice the reader that we have on footnote on another page we can have something like that I don't know and write page and automatically we have a number and here from page and let's see okay so we have this footnote and go to page 4 to read more and on the page 4 we have from page 3 and we have the rest of the text if we don't want this interruption of uh, text we can remove these two lines here and now we have the text that is here continued here okay let's see what is happening if we have another footnote in another chapter let's insert one here and let's write something and now we have number three here so let's go to this option spare document so we have one and two at chapter one and three in chapter two if we check per chapter we have one and two for chapter one and restarting a new chapter so again we have footnote one for chapter two okay so this is another option that we have to restart numbering of footnotes on every um, chapter of course we have per page let's change back to per document also we can increase the distance here between this line and the footnote so let's go here now let's go to styles uh, paragraph style for footnote and here we have above paragraph okay so we have this space here let's have uh, two centimeters of course it's too much but we in order to learn so we have two centimeters here above a paragraph of course it's too much let's use something smaller and now uh, everything looks nice let's increase to zero three and now it's very very nice um, if we have uh, more than one footnote we check to not have that space above the paragraph okay so we have just the space between paragraph but not above so in this episode we have learned how to insert a cover and how to personalize our footnotes thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video every week thank you